when Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. From that hour, the disciple took Mary into his own home. Jesus, if we recognize what happens on those six hours he hangs on the cross, the story is that he, out of his obedience to his Father, surrendering to his Father's will the night before in the Garden of Gethsemane, is now emptying himself of everything he is. He's handing over everything. First in the Garden of Gethsemane, it was his will to his Father. And now he starts to hand over piece by piece his whole personhood. First he gives away his dignity during the scourging. Then his clothes are being divided up. He gives away his clothes. His body, racked with pain, given to the soldiers to nail on a cross. And now, in this third word, he finds himself giving away his mother. But with purpose, my brothers and sisters. He doesn't call her mother. He doesn't call her Mary. He says, woman. Woman, the same word he used at the miracle of Cana, the same word used, the exact same Hebrew word that Adam used to name the first woman. This is woman, woman, because she has been taken from her man. Mary is seen as this new Eve, the one to bring us into holiness, into a place like her before sin. But more importantly, it's Jesus in his humanity now speaking, looking down at his mother. What is it like for her, my brothers and sisters? Have you ever just sat with the heart of a mother, a mother watching her own child die innocently without any reason, and so painfully. I'm a hospital chap. How often do I see that? I see it very often. I saw it this morning at 4 a.m. in the delivery room at Hackensack University Medical Center. When a newly married couple, their first expectancy was ended in a miscarriage. Could I contain her tears in my hand, or could I hold a sobbing father long enough? Woman, behold your son. Jesus is looking at his mother, filled with sorrow, hurt, anguish, and he really would like to reach out and hug her, but he can't. So he places her in the arms of the one he loves as well, John the disciple. What do you think John did when Jesus said this? Stand at a distance? No. Son, behold your mother. The embrace that she needed, that we all need when someone we love is dying, when the grief is too great and there seems to be no answers. And even though Mary knew this had to be, she was still totally human like you and I. Jesus' concern is for his mother, to have someone to care for her, to surround her, to recognize that she is in such incredible anguish. Woman, he says, new Eve, behold your son. Both the son on the cross and the disciple who would embrace her. Yes. Mary knew many things, but
but she was a mother above everything else. She was the mother of a son she was told to name Jesus. Recognize this is Jesus' hope to have his mother filled with grace because he can't do it at the moment. Yes, this is a moment for mothers everywhere to know the anguish of losing a child, but at the same time, knowing a God who wants to embrace them boldly. Mary may have known many things, but she wasn't quite sure if she could make it through the sorrow. 